Hello, troublemakers, and welcome into another movie commentary Monday. I've been on a little bit of a horror kick, and I think that's gonna continue. We started with Unfriended, which is about a demon who haunted people over Skype, and then we did He's All That, which it's not a horror film per se, but I certainly found it horrible. It's a weird feeling, knowing that 30 seconds into my video, I've just delivered the best joke of the video. Speaking of Unfriended, I just found out that that video is age-restricted now, which sucks a lot. So on, on this video, I'm gonna make sure that I cover up any gruesome. Any gruesome grossums. Will there be any? I don't know. I barely know what this film's about. It's just been in my Netflix queue for about three years. It's only an hour and 20 minutes, which thank God, because everything scares me. I mean, nothing scares me really, to be fair. You know what the problem is? I get scared with like home invasion shit, and I think that's what this is. Is this supposed to be silent? This is a movie about a deaf woman. So I don't know if like there's no sound because she's deaf and they're trying to like get us into it, or if my audio is just fucking up. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, it was- it's the movie. Why did I just predict the end of this movie? <laughs> She's gonna capture her killer by, like, overloading his senses of sound so that he can't hear. She's gonna take advantage of that. Otherwise, why make her deaf, right? Alright, they're really playing into the sound thing. Like, I get it. Things make sound. Ah, this is like a horrible ASMR video. ASMR cooking. Stop. No, it's a misdirect. It's a mis- Okay, oh, this is just showing her death. Yeah, it's doing it well. I make jokes, but it's- it, The movie's doing it well. <laughs> I can't with digital sound effects and horror films after I watched Unfriended. Can I stop by? Sarah next door? Ah, it's a weird last name. Next door? Maddie Young. I love watching- Looking for little details. That's why I like being able to pause it. You should really call Craig. He's really into you. Maybe that's the problem, Kate. He's too into me. Why is it I can never hear my neighbors, but as soon as I put headphones on in a horror movie, I can hear every fucking footstep in like a 50 meter radius. All right, Sarah Young, let's get on with this plot before you become Sarah old. <laughs> All right, here we go. Enough stalling. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing a little bit of stalling because I'm afraid, but fear is for babies. Adults aren't afraid of anything. Uh, okay, she has an animal. Oh, it's a wild animal. Is it a wild cat? Oh, she's an outdoor cat. Okay. I hope it dies. <laughs> okay. So she's got a friend. See, it'd be nice if her friend was blind. And they had to, like, combine their two lack of senses into stopping a killer. I finished your book. I finished- Oh, I thought that was a Bible. I saw mass on it, and I was like, oh, it's like a Bible. Mass isn't synonymous with Bible, but- the two words are related in some way. What did you think of the book? What did I think? She loved it. Of course. I loved it. <laughs> this is why you never ask friends for critiques. A lot of times friends will just be like, ah, oh, it's so great. I loved Riley. I loved Aaron. They were oh, she just loves everything. I tried to guess the ending. I'm usually on point with that sort of thing. Hey, me too. How do you come up with that? My mom calls it writer brain. Any possible outcome is like a movie in my head with many endings. Okay, so you don't you don't have this in a good movie. You don't have this kind of dialogue not in some way Relate to the end. That's what makes good movies enjoyable to watch multiple multiple times through because you go back and you watch this You're like, oh, this relates to the ending of this movie So you can watch it twice and it's like interesting a second time around as well Specifically with this the friend said that the writer's book ended in a way that she didn't expect So either this movie's gonna end in a way we don't expect or something about her seeing multiple endings is gonna come into play and that's how she's gonna survive. Why did I make my voice as quiet? Oh, she's crazy. Awesome. Oh, she's a horrible cook. What a klutz. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think she knows. That is one hell of a fire alarm. I'll uh, pop by tomorrow and brush up signs. Okay, so she's coming back tomorrow. Gotta keep stock of where all the characters are, where they're gonna be. Thought of you today. God damn it, Craig. I mean, you could just ignore them. You don't gotta delete them like that. Rude, but fine. You're the perfect target for a robbery. I would live in a fucking uh, castle, a windowless castle, if I was deaf. The church. Oh, this is the voice in her head. The rage bubbled up, spreading into his head. His ears rang. His eyes bubbled. I'm watching someone write. I see the jokes in the comment section already. Oh, dude, you'd rather you'd rather watch someone write a book than actually write a book yourself, huh? I fucking see you. 
She's a joke. Midnight Mass, dumb title. My book title, Midnight Mass Sucker. <laughs> Death. Oh, uh, is she gonna call Craig? Who is she calling? She is a real writer. They kind of got this nailed down. She thinks about writing, but instead, she procrastinates. Oh god, I hate. Oh, shots like this. Right, I, like, oh, uh, you have like a... Uh, a very intense focus in the foreground, the background out of focus, those are some scary ass shots. Cause you could just have something pass by here, you could see a face down here. Mmm. Mmm. Why would you live alone in the woods? I could never. <laughs> really? Oh, I kinda wish they just shot that from the inside. They kinda gave away the scare and the fun. I'm gonna work on a little bit more criticisms because I know you guys like that and I did that in the uh, Cinderella video You guys seem to like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of give my thoughts on how they shot the film So if you just did it from yeah, the fact that you go outside here and show it it takes the scare away If you're just inside with her 30 seconds, it lowers our defenses She's just cleaning up and then all of a sudden bang <laughs> against it. It's like whoa, whoa, who is this person? But you give away the <laughs> Scare right there <laughs> With an arrow. Oh god <laughs> Is that her friend? <laughs> Big neck, ta neck tattoo, okay. So it's not gonna be anyone she knows. She'd be able to identify him immediately. What if she wasn't deaf and she just didn't give a shit? <laughs> it's too early in the movie for him to do anything. We're fucking 15 minutes in. He ain't gonna do shit. What are you up to? Giving that well, huh? <laughs> Ah, kill herself! Oh, so funny! And <laughs> Sally was a murderer in your house. It's not good for anyone to be alone, Squish. What was that? Behind you. I thought I saw something move. Okay, so now now she's a little bit on edge. Let's get to the scare. It's a false scare. It's too early for you to die. It's not like there's a group of people that need to be murdered. It's just one person. We've seen two people, so we've seen three people. One of them is the killer. The second person was the first victim. And there's only one other person left. Well, we got the cat too. If you want to murder the cat, it's fine. But we can't, you can't, it's not like you can kill her right here. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, I guess this is where she sees him. You know, but it's not like she could die four minutes from now. And then he hides the body for the next hour. So she looks out a window and she sees him and he has her phone. So what's his aim? It looks like murdering's fun for him. Oh, you, are you kidding me? You live in a forest and you're just gonna leave the door open? Even if a human doesn't come in and like attack you, I would fear that like a bear, a bear is gonna come into my house. They have a keen sense of smell. You've been burning food in here. I, even like a moose. Could you fight a moose? Mooses are like thousands of pounds. Oh, you're gonna get attacked by a moose. Oh, yeah, that's fucking frightening. And you just left the door wide open. Yeah, he's playing with her. I'm kind of cheering for him a little bit. Like, I like the way he's going about this. Really fucking with her first, you know? Could have just killed her outright. Yeah, see? I mean, you're lucky it's just the guy who wants to kill you and it's not a moose. Because a moose could do damage to you. I mean, a guy could as well. But I fear moose more than I fear men. But he's a masked killer. Why is he masked? That's the weird part to me. Like, you're killing people out in the middle of the woods. Who's going to see you? There aren't going to be any witnesses around anyways. It's a fucking glass door. Hmm, how's he going to get inside? Obviously, that the door was the only way through. It's not like he could just like, psh, right through the- Oh, I just spit everywhere. I was making a sound effect and... Oh, no. It's not like he could just, psh, right through the door. Can't have to spit in my mouth that time. Uh, get to your computer, FaceTime someone, call 911, get the police out here. The woman is dead, the woman that said she was gonna come back tomorrow morning. I'm pretty sure that was her, so... No one's coming for you. What are you do? He's got- he has a weapon that shoots things. Maybe get away from the windows. Get your computer. See how they play that sound effect? He's calmly walking around the house. We know he's gonna be there, but they play the sound effect like, Oh, he's in the window! Like, we know he's gonna be there! Oh my god, there's a killer here. We didn't sound like we watched him walk around the house. Yeah, see, you really should have been on this earlier. Okay, see, you just broke my immersion in this movie. I know you cannot use an iPhone with gloves. You have to have special gloves. Did this man put special gloves on? Phone usable gloves? I don't think so. He looks like some backwoods hick. You think he even knows about these kind of gloves? I don't think so. 
So is he gonna break the glass? And is she just gonna sit there now? Bring your computer up to a room and then lock the door, barricade the door, and you're chilling. What, are you, what is she doing? You understand how glass works, right? I'm not as scared as I thought I was gonna be. I'm a little bit disappointed. He's just not that scary of, an, of a villain. He's too slow and methodical. And we're seeing too much of him. What is she doing? Yeah. What if she just put on the thing? Oh, she wrote a whole thing. Won't tell, didn't see, face, boyfriend coming home. Yeah, but he's got a pretty identifiable tattoo though. How he's showing her face, his face. Ah, see, he just looks like an incel. Can you read my lips? Oh, he speaks too? I don't, they're just taking all the horror out of this for me. Oh, scary. Yeah, I wouldn't believe that. You wanna know why I wouldn't believe that? Because that's obviously what someone would say. Like, oh, there's someone coming. Yeah, okay, miss living alone in the woods. Seriously, Maddie, maybe you could come back and live with me. No, I worry about you. It's not good for anyone to be so alone. Oh, he's reading her messages. Oh yeah, he has her phone. <laughs> he knows. I can come in anytime I want. Yep. I can get you anytime I want. Yep. But I'm not going to. Why? Not until it's time. What time is the time? When you wish you're dead, that's when I'll come inside. That was years ago. Then we can have some fun. Let's see what the reviews got. Hush. How? <laughs> Not, it's got a 93%. Instead of grabbing a knife, taking her computer, barricading herself in a room until daylight. Instead, she writes a message for the man in lipstick and then points a light at the message so that he would be able to see it. If you know that there's a killer outside your house, would you rather lock yourself in a room where the killer cannot get in with a weapon and your computer? Or would you rather write a message in lipstick hoping the killer goes away? It took you fucking long enough. And where'd you put the flashlight? Oh, there it is, by the window. Don't move, don't move. You're moving the curtain. Who's this lady now? Oh, that's the friend. Oh, he's banging her hand against the window. Yeah. I feel like if I was in that situation, I would open the window, hand-to-hand -hand combat him right now. You have a hammer and a knife. I'd swing hammer and then immediately thrust with the knife. I'd swing high, he would duck, stab. Because what, his hands are like holding up this dead girl. So he's, he's he doesn't have his hands on a weapon. I feel like I would have just won. I feel like I would have won this whole movie. At worst case scenario, he fucking kills you. And it's like, okay, well it's over then at least. You don't have to worry all night. I'd rather just be dead than worry about getting killed in the next couple hours and then die. Like I'd rather just die right now. Oh, is she trying to set the emergency alarm or the uh, car siren? Is she trying to set that off? Tires are slashed, so I don't know what else she'd be doing. See, this here, this kills all tension. As soon as you locate the killer, you're removing the tension. If you stay on the girl, then we don't know where the killer is. He could be behind her for all we know. But now we know the location of the killer. So now we know she's safe. And he looks surprised. He looks surprised by her action. Which, how does that help us? Be scared. Ah, I wanna punch this film. 93%. More like $93,000 sent to reviewers to pay him off. Can't pay me off. It's not true, I did take a sponsor for this video, so I, I can be bought. <laughs> I am going to give you three reasons why you should be using NordVPN, the sponsor of today's video. Number one, Nord helps obscure your online activity. If you're not using a VPN, websites and your internet provider can track everything you do online. NordVPN stops that while also encrypting your data for an extra layer of protection, in case anyone were trying to hack in and get access to your information and data. The second reason you should have Nord is because you can unlock a bunch of content on streaming sites. Countries get different licenses for movies and shows. For example, a horror film from a few years ago that got a lot of buzz, Babadook. It is not on Netflix in the US. It is, however, on the Netflix in Australia, mate. All you have to do is change your location in Nord and suddenly that movie becomes ready to watch. And the final reason you should get Nord is because I forced Nord to use a photo of me and Julius. So when you go to nordvpn.com slash in trouble, you see my face and you see Julius's face. So if you don't sign up for Nord, Julius is gonna think he's the reason why you're not signing up. He's gonna 
don't think it's his fault. Do you want to make Julius cry? I didn't think so. They have a special deal as well. So if you go to nordvpn.com slash in trouble, which that link will be in the description, of course, they're going to discount their two-year plan as well as throw in a free four months. It comes out to about $3 a month, which is worth it just to unlock a ton of movies you wouldn't otherwise get. But add a bonus cherry on top, you'll also be a lot more protected online. So get NordVPN if you don't have it already. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Oh, smart. Okay, so she was going for the phone. Yeah, see, the fact that we're showing the killer just takes the tension out. Am I, am I alone in this? Let me know how you guys feel. As soon as you see the killer and his whereabouts, like, the killer could just be running back right now, like he heard her or something, and, and we wouldn't know. In fact, I would play with the deafness of the scene. She doesn't know if the alarm is going off still or not. If we went into her silent mode, and she just had to open the window real quick, and we couldn't, we didn't know where he is, if he got the alarm off, if he just abandoned the alarm. I don't know why they're not playing with that more. And they're showing exactly where he is. So we know he's by the car on the other side of the house. Yeah, so we hear it going off. She doesn't know, but they're not playing into that at all. Stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him. Oh, she hit him with the, the pronged end. Yeah, why is she standing there still? She's just chilling. I mean, I feel like there's only so much pocket. How did she not feel that the phone wasn't there? Like she was, she was on her body, feeling around her dead ass, you know? Like she was dead ass feeling that dead ass and she couldn't find the phone. How did she not figure out like it's not there? It shouldn't have took her that long. She better have that knife on hand. But is that scary? He already had said he can come inside anytime he wants. So like, why? I guess I need to be mentally stimulated. Some people could just be stimulated with the physical stuff. I need to be stimulated mentally first. <sighs> yeah, see, I was thinking escape before, but you're at a severe disadvantage outside because you're going to be rustling leaves. You might not even know how much sound you're making. See, noise. She doesn't even know she made noise there, really. How do you make that ballsy of a play to go outside and go underneath? Which is smart. You want to be where you wouldn't think he would check. But how do you go outside and... and <gasps> I see he's all over top of you. Like if you're in that pressure situation, control your fucking bodily functions. I say, as I just spit everywhere before making a sound effect. Like I, I understand the hypocrisy a little bit here. But I'm not being chased by a murderer. I don't think, I mean, I. Hot 93%. What did I just fucking watch? He doesn't even hit the glass. He hits the wood part. And all of a sudden she's flopping on the floor. If it hit the glass and scared her, cause it's coming right at her, I could see her flinching backwards and falling over. But it hit the fucking wall. She saw it and then was like, collapse. 93. She hasn't faced a single consequence for her actions, except leaving her door open for the cat, which she got her phone. But she continues taking risks and only he has injuries. And we're seeing, look at, we're, again, she knows his exact location. So what's scary? The fear would be he could be anywhere. And I'm not gonna talk about that again. But at the same time, I'll probably be talking about it more. <laughs> Every time I say like, I'm not gonna talk about it again, I inevitably come back to it. Cause it's a big deal. It's a horror film. What are we afraid of? I think the greatest thing that all people fear is the unknown. But you're making the unknown known. So that's not that scary anymore. Now it's just a guy. It could have been anybody before. It could have been a group of people. Like she goes and she outside and she sees the body of her friend. Like what the fuck is her body, her friend's body doing there? And then she sees a guy with a mask. Is it just one? Is it multiple? Where are they? These are questions she would be asking, questions we would be asking, but she knows the scenario. I have this house. There's one person out there. He has bow and arrow. He can come inside what he wants, but he does not. So he's just playing a game. It's like, she knows too much. We know too much, and you're taking all the suspense out. What's your thought here? I would think maybe drop down on him from above and bludgeon him with a weapon. That'd be an interesting play. He has a ranged weapon. Maybe don't be out in the open. On the moonlit side of the house. Ah, oh, this is a mistake. She's coming up with plans. Maybe this is like a, alluding to her novel. 
Oh, she got shot. It's kind of like her novel where she uh, she has like seven different endings for her novel, but none of them work. Maybe she's trying seven different escape plans until she finally stumbles upon the right one. Oh, she got some flexibility. You a gymnast, girl? Oh yeah, I'd wait till he gets up top and then fucking with the arrow in the eye. Kick him off, 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 kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him. Why was he thinking that's a good plan? Uh, she, do you know how to load an arrow? She could end his ass right here. See, if I were her, you'd have to be carrying the knife the entire time. Even put it in your pocket. What I would do is pretend like I'm fucking with the thing, with the arrow, and he's like, okay, I gotta get there before she can fix, figure out the arrow situation. And then when he gets to the top, I would shove the, 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 the crossbow to the other side. His attention would go, it's over there. Knife, neck. But, ah, easy solutions, baby. Plan. Thought. And now I just feel stupid. Because if I was in this situation, I wouldn't know how to clean a wound. You gotta take your pants off? You gotta what, you pour rubbing alcohol on it or some shit? I feel like there's so much as an adult that I don't know how to do. I some Adults have failed me for a majority of my life. Because I don't know how to do anything almost. Rubbing, is, that, is that rubbing alcohol? So that, that disinfects the wound, correct? And then they just tie, you just tie it with cloth and then stop the bleeding? Bleeding? Is that right? The sad thing is like I only learned this from movies. Like if, if I didn't watch movies, I wouldn't know how to do anything. <laughs> I gotta be honest. If I take my pants off, I feel like I'd just leave them off. Kind of sh- it would surprise the guy, right? If you were just- If you were naked, and you just ran out, screeching at him, his first reaction is gonna be, Ah, I need to get out of here. Right? I feel like my other plans are a little bit more solid for how to defeat this guy. I'd swing hammer and then immediately thrust with the knife. I would think maybe drop down on him, bludgeon him, open the window, hand-to-hand -hand combat him right now. Crossbow to the other side, knife, neck. But like, worst comes to worst, full naked, boobs in the moonlight. I I any guy is gonna like, take a second to be like, hold on a second. What is happening? You only need that one second to make your move. You know what I mean? Like you've got him stunned. I've already created like eight different solutions for her to get out of this problem. Well, she can create tourniquets and stuff. So she's got her own skills. Me, when I have a wound, I'm just like, I guess this is my wound now. I just, do I just sit here like this? I guess. All right, it's kill count. You got 13 kills. Maybe not even including the girl he killed tonight. What a weird way to keep count though. You have these nice five, five, and you got two over here, one over here. Is this male, female, or something? There has to be a reason these are separated. I'm trying to create fucking backstory for this guy. Create some sort of logic and reasoning for his actions. Because clearly if I want it done, I gotta do it myself. Because the movie's not gonna do it. 93%. Not so easy, is it? <laughs> he delivered that line like, you can see my suffering now, right? Like it's difficult. Having to pull the string back on the bow. My life's been so difficult. My life has been in one eternal bowstring pull. <laughs> oh, you're fucked. Oh my god, I think I know this guy. Sarah! Oh my god. <gasps> I, can't, I need to. I don't want to say anything until. Okay, it's not him. It's not him. I don't gotta worry about it. You see, this is the guy. I thought it was. <laughs> Probably from my guiltiest pleasure film of all time, Never Back Down. Featured Cam Shigande, the great American actor. I thought it was this guy. This guy. He looks similar, doesn't he? I'm glad it's not him though, because I wouldn't want Never Back Down guy to die because he acted alongside Cam Shigande, and uh, I have no choice but to cheer for you because you've been blessed with the presence of Cam Shigande. On the ground. I said on the ground, hey, no, drop hey. it. No, 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 it's just- Don't any trouble. This is just- Oh, you must be a cop. You're dressed like a criminal. Fucking sweatshirt, hoodie. Okay, on your knees, Okay, sir. okay, okay. I'm coming here to look for my girlfriend. All right, show me some ID. All right, I'm gonna put my phone down, reach for my wallet, okay? Take it easy. Why? Why would you assume he's an officer? He hasn't identified himself as an officer at all. Oh, you're not an officer. You, you saw the writing on the thing, right? Like, hey, distress signal. Something's happening right now. It makes more sense that there be a killer here. You live next door? Yes, sir. Oh, his girlfriend's the one that died. Yikes. Tough break for him, huh? I got here, I found the place like this. There was someone inside. Look at how he's dressed. Ha, you, ha you have to be the biggest idiot. And running past me, knocked me cold. I woke up without my phone. I hear the house with you all police? The deputy. What, what are you, are you, now's when you ask, are you police? After you've already given your wallet, got on your knees for him, are you, are you police? Or... You said you responded to a call. Was that from Maddie? They said someone uh, had called it in. Okay, so they, they introduced this guy who cares? His girlfriend's dead. 
he's obviously not going to win whatever altercation is about to happen. She always been a... If a cop has like a giant fucking gang tattoo basically on his neck, I don't know that I'm going to trust that he's a cop unless I see clear identification. Trashed her car pretty good, huh? Oh yeah, look nice. at that. Nice. Oh, she fucked him up. Hey, 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 it's done. It's done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Why do I kind of like this guy? He's like, hey, hey, man, sorry. Like, it's done. It's over with. Don't struggle. Don't struggle. I won't harm you anymore. Just die peacefully now. <laughs> oh, you got, you fucked him up. That's your fault. Don't bang. She should have came out flashing everybody. That really would have got everyone to stop. Oh, with the misdirect. What a move. He played possum. <laughs> You can't choke him out. Your best place to go for the knife. <laughs> He's like, run. And she's like, no, thank you. I'm gonna stay here. And also no way that she could read his lips. He's on the ground in the dark, a guy on top of him. But maybe she understood his plan, which was to hold him back for a little bit. But how long can he fight? All right, yeah, fuck her up. Awesome. Surprising, but awesome. Don't tell me this is all part of her book. You can't run. <laughs> I'm ready to quit. 93? 93. Not only have the scares been awful, but they kill off the main character only to be like, Oh, JK, she's not dead. She just envisioned her death. Gotcha. I actually thought that we're going to take a, an interesting turn in this film. Kill off the main character. Kill off the main girl. And then we go back to this guy's house, this, this random killer's house who he notches people up and he's just this loving family man. His family no doesn't know anything. He's just a great father. He loves his kids. He loves his wife. He protects his wife. He's just this guy. And that it's like, whoa, what the fuck? That's like a weird way to end the film, but it'd be very interesting. Instead, they're just like, kill off the main girl. JK, she had a vision. Remember we set up she has visions in her head before? No, you didn't actually. What they set up was that she hears a voice in her head. And I guess that's... I'm so, if this got like a 22% on Rotten Tomatoes, I wouldn't be this angry. But the fact that everyone just seemingly loves this, get the fuck out. Leave! No more reviews for you, ever! Crossbow, but that has to be a perfect shot. Brain. Anything else is not gonna cut it. Won't cut it. Shot. Pretty much useless indoors. It's useless really indoors. tough up close and you'd have why? Why are we getting this visualization of her? Like, we, if you set this up before, you kind of did a little bit where she was like going over the the endings of her book like he can't do this this character needs to do this which is like just inner monologue that any writer has like what do i do here it's like when you're planning stuff out why are we getting this visualization now if you did this visualization before when she was talking about the end of a book as that they were pitching like different endings for her book and she was just like a little bit crazy and she has like alternate versions of her like trying to convince her how to end her book that's okay and then you bring it back for this serious situation fine but you can't just bring this in now like there's multiple hers Vision's starting to go. We are running out of time. Is she losing that much blood? She sealed her wound. Or she tourniqueted it. To... She used the tourniquet. And now her wound is mostly stopped bleeding, I assume. She's disinfected it already. It was one arrow. He is bigger, stronger, and faster. And he's got the advantage. He can hear you. Okay, so... so here, we already... She's breaking it down like he has all the advantages. You're hurt. You're deaf, so he has the advantage. But now she's gonna turn her deafness to her advantage. You see it fucking coming. The fire alarm. They made a big deal about it before. There's only one ending he won't expect. Attack. Can't run, hide, or wait. Gotta attack. What does that leave? Why? I don't... Like, listen. Listen. Sound effect. As if... Killing the person who is trying to kill you is this big monumental event. Like, it occurred to me that I could harm the person trying to harm me. Boo! I bet you, the audience, never thought of that. Oh, hey there. I'll kill it real quick. Hey. Oh, just do one good thing in this movie, man. <laughs> I have so many people who love cats. Just know I'm joking. You're gonna see mommy very soon. <gasps> Nail to the front. Ah, oh, just wait two fucking seconds. Let him finish the kid. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Cat lovers. Cat lovers. I'm just kidding. 
Okay, so she's leading him into a trap. See, these sound effects don't sound like a wrist breaking. Ooh, certainly looks like a broken hand though. She should have flashed him. I'm telling. <laughs> this, this all could have been avoided. Oh, her hand is fucked. I can't look at it. I would have wrote it with my fucked up hand. That would really send a message. Okay. Oh, really hitting him where it hurts. I'm sure he's really struggling with his cowardice. It's a strong glass pane. Are windows that strong? He saw you go to your laptop, right? He would definitely take it. But the fact that she wrote out her death note, I assume she's going to uh, survive now because it'd be a misdirect. You expect her to die now because she expects to die. You know what? I think that you're holding out on me. Is that I him? if I hit the right spot, I can make you scream. Grab the other knife. Finish him off. <laughs> did she tap into some fucking superpower now? How did she know he was behind her? She's fucking deaf. Did he did he touch her with the blade? Oh, the hair's in the back. How did he know how did she know that he was behind her though? She stare sit there stare at the fucking door. I, I am excited to see how they end it. If it's just gonna be another stupid cliche ending where she fucking lives. They could do something interesting. But they haven't done anything interesting the whole movie. I was kinda hoping it'd turn into like a home alone situation where the person inside would have would gain the upper hand through traps and tricks. I have to be done now. I can't. This is so bad. <laughs> it's so loud, it's incapacitating. You better fucking incapacitate us as viewers. That's how loud I want this to be. It just sounds like a regular alarm. I... <sighs> Soldier through, Dylan. There's fucking two minutes left. <laughs> Both, both of you die. Both of you die. <laughs> oh no, her childhood. Which never played any role in this movie whatsoever. Last second, she survives. <laughs> There's a chance both die now, which is exciting. And if she's not around to feed the cat, maybe the cat dies. I stop blinking and die. No, don't get up. Get back down. Oh no. What are we doing? What are we doing? The characters I wanted least to survive. I feel like my horror film would just be the, the killers all succeeding and getting away. <laughs> what was fun or enjoyable about any of this? They didn't even play into the theme that she was deaf really. Like it played such little role in the home invasion. Mike Flanagan? How about Mike Try Again? next time, okay? <laughs> I'm utterly shocked. And I'm sure that there'll be some people who have seen this movie before who like it. Chris Stuckman, who makes YouTube videos. An intelligent thriller that finds almost constant ways to introduce blood, blood curdling tension. Not once did my blood curdle. It hardly even flowed. I almost died watching this from the lack of blood flow in this movie. I bet he has a fucking video. I thought this film was tons of fun. I thought it was a great thrill ride. It's very well acted. There isn't something about this movie that you watch and you go, oh my God, my mind is blown. Because it's not trying to be. It's just trying to be a really good uh, thriller. My mind was blown. My mind was blown the whole time. I was like, how did this get 93%? That's how it was blown. I hated this guy. I hated him. I wanted this guy gone. Every time she got just slightly ahead of him, I was just like, yes! Like, it was just such a crowd-pleasing movie in some aspects. There's also a very good way the movie toys with you. Sometimes she imagines scenarios in her brain because she's very smart. She goes through what she could possibly do and- Once. She did that once. And it was just to misdirect you. The movie tricks you a few times. And it really got to me. In fact, one time I audibly went, no! Good job, Mike Flanagan. You had me. You had me in your grip. And that's what's good about this- Movie. It's a movie that is just relentless in regards to being a thriller. It's simply a thriller. It's an 87 minute movie with a woman who has a perceived disability and she has to use her disability to her advantage to try to figure out how to get out of the situation while this crazy- When did she use her disability to her advantage? When she put a fire alarm to his ears so he had to drop his knife? He was incapacitated earlier. She shot him with an arrow, stabbed him, and there was a- uh, he had his knife on the ground. She could have easily stabbed him, ended him. She didn't need her disability to help her. Also, the fact that she's a writer barely ever- oh. No, nope, nope, no, 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 no. I'm ending this. I'm retiring from making these videos ever. <laughs> this pisses me off. I can't, I feel like I'm living in a crazy person world. Where, where was any of this? I, I feel, did I watch the right fucking movie? I feel like I accidentally watched the wrong movie and the movie I'm looking up is a completely different thing. I, I'm losing my sanity and my grip on reality because I feel like I'm living in an alternate timeline. And the movie I just witnessed was not the same thing everyone else saw. I, I, I give that we all experience like tension 
and drama differently, and we all we all just have like different opinions on it. But you had like a unique element of your story. She's deaf. How is that going to affect the story? It really doesn't. After she knows the killer's there, she constantly ha is aware of him. She always knows where he is because she's looking out the window. He's always in obvious spots. He never sneaks up on her. He's never inside the house. The killer's motivation is just, I guess it's just joy for him. He just enjoys killing. So he's like, okay, I can come inside anytime I want, but he's, I, I don't even want to. I'm just going to chill outside. Why does he enjoy killing? At least give me a reason why he, he likes it. Add some depth so that I can understand the character motivation. Because it just seems like he's doing it because you need the film to be fucking longer. He's about to kill her at like the 10 minute mark right behind her. But then he was like, yeah. You know what? We need to burn some runtime. I'll head back outside and just fuck with her for a little bit. What's that? What's that meme? Like, m my day is ruined. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. That's how I feel. This this movie ruined my day. Thank you for watching. Uh, oh, fuck. I just remembered that the next time I'm going to be watching After 3. I'll probably think more highly of After 3 now that I, I'm coming off this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Oh, no. Doodles.